All right. So this question comes from um, section 1.3, question 28. It says, uh, let's look at it. So it says last year, 4.8 million, 4.8 million more than twice as many people traveled to country A than the country B. There were a total of 58.8 million people that traveled to these two countries. How many traveled to each country? Now, this, this question was asked by a student. He said it was giving him trouble. And I can see where he's already um, attempted at least the first two. And so the first question says, uh, first read the problem carefully. Uh, what are you being asked to find? So he answered the difference in the number of travels received uh, by country A and country B. So I'm assuming that he just maybe um, maybe just chose something. I don't know. But then they said that the correct answer there is the number of travels to country A and the number of tra travels to country B. That one, I think, is straightforward. But then the next one says, uh, what should the next step be? Now, my first mind was thinking, okay, assign a variable to A and B. But they say assign a variable to the number of travelers to country B. So now that's fine. And I think we will get that, that way. But I'm going to kind of do what my mind is telling me to do. And I'm kind of getting that, you know, I would, I would rather assign travelers to A and travelers to B, set up my equations, and then I'll get it into one like what they have. So let's go back and read it again. So it says 4.8 million more than twice as many people travel to A then travel to B. So then that, what they're saying is that the number of people that travel to A is going to be 4.8 million more than twice as many 4.8 million more travel to A than to B. So, so it's looking like this is 4.8 plus 2b. Now that's that's where my mind is telling me, and we'll we'll kind of go with that. And if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. Um, so then it also says there were a total of 58 million people that traveled to the two countries. So then what that tells me is that a plus b should be the 58.8 million. Okay. So now we have two equations and two unknowns, so we can solve. So now what we can do, since we already have A in terms of B, we can take that and substitute it into the second equation. So then we would get, so if we took the A, so let's do this. So we replace the top blue A, we replace the bottom blue A with the top blue A, that's a substitution technique. And so what we'll do so we'll have A plus B equals 58.8 million. But what are we substituting in there? We're substituting in the top blue A, which is the 4.8 plus 2B. Okay. So now we have one equation and one unknown we should be able to solve. All right. So let's just copy this. Right. So now this is where they're getting, for, for the second question, assign a variable to the num number of travelers to country B. So then they just they, they jump straight here, which I'm not really a fan of. I like the way I did it. So then now if we continue, I think we can just lose the parentheses because um, associative property of addition, there's nothing to distribute, so we can just lose the parentheses. So we'll get 4.8 plus 2B plus B equals the 58.8. So next we want to um, combine like terms, okay? So then we have this 2B and this B, those are like terms. So we want to simplify the left and simplify the right. So then on the left, when we combine like terms, we'll get 3B plus 4.8 uh, million equals to 58.8. So then, uh, let's see. 
So we, we've simplified the left and the right by combining like terms. Now we want to use a, an additive property of equality to isolate our variable. So normally we would remove the variable first, but we already have the variable isolated. So now we want to move uh, constants away from it. So that's what I'm going to subtract. It's 4.8 on both sides. Okay. So now on the left, these are canceled. And we have the 3B, and then that's a 0, that's 4, uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> So we get 54. So then we'll divide by 3. Okay, let's just see what happens. Kind of following our intuition, we don't really know. We get B equals, that's a 1, 24 is 8. So we're saying that 18 million went to B. So then that means that A plus the 18 should equal the 58.8. So then that means the A has to be, what is that? That's a 50, it's 40.8 million. So then it should be, A should be 40.8 million travelers. And then B should be 18 million. Now, it should be the case that A is 2 times B plus 4.8. So 2 times B, what is that, 36 plus 4.8 is indeed 40.8. And then A plus B is indeed um, 50.8. Okay, so this satisfies both of those initial conditions. So, you know, this, this was like, even though it says that you know, here, that A was incorrect, assign a, assign a variable to the total number of travelers to A and B. Um, I actually prefer that way. Write an equation for the total number of travelers to A and B. Anyway. Let T be notice of yeah, yeah. So eventually we'll get it all to one, one equation and one variable. So I'm just a fan of this technique. So if you ever get on an exam, you know, you can, something like that, you can dispute as long as you can kind of articulate and explain. Like if you, if you chose A there and the answer was C, if you can articulate why you chose A and you wanted to argue those points, I would give it to you, you know, provided that you can articulate it properly. But this is the result I got. All right. Happy studying.